Hello Internet, welcome back to our little vertex shader experiment thing. Uh, what we're going to be doing in this video is working to actually spherify this. Uh, and so this is sort of a little idea I had, uh, but effectively what I want to do is let's clamp the vertices to a sphere. Uh, so if I undo just some of the fun stuff that I was playing with, uh, we'll get back to like zero ish and I can do that and bring all of this back to just a normal cube. I've added additional vertices uh, and kind of rounded out the edges so you get a little bit uh, better results when you like spin this, for example, uh, that didn't used to look very good. Now it looks all right. Uh, so what I want to do with the, the spherify logic is effectively from the uh, offset position, so from wherever that offset is, based on the total distance from that point, uh, we're going to clamp it. So there's going to be some max distance that you can be from that point, uh, and then if you exceed that, your distance becomes just that. Uh, and we'll see what happens. I think it'll result in some cool things because theoretically you'll be able to like round out the sides of boxes, but I don't actually really know what it's going to do. So we're going to find out. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much, <laughs> that's, that's as far as that thought went. So let's see here. Uh, all we need to do, uh, I think this, I'm hoping this is going to be easy. <laughs> Uh, that was that was sort of the idea. Uh, I was kind of expecting to do uh, the summer slow jam. I mentioned it last video. Uh, I was wrong. It's not Thursday. Today's Thursday. It's Friday. So it's Friday. Uh, like yeah, and it starts in like twenty hours. So I have some time. <laughs> so we're just going to sphere 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 uh, spherify. There we go. Got it. Took a while. I should have chosen a better word for that because I'm going to be doing that all video. All right. Float. Spherify. There we go. So we need to take that, that radius, and now this is all still in object space. So at the end of all of these transformations, uh, do I want to put it here or do I want to put it above? Th this is actually going to matter. I, I think I want it below. Uh, so we're going to XYZ is going to equal spherify of V dot vertex dot XYZ. Uh, and let's just plug in that radius. So we're going to need a new function here that is going to return a three dimensional vector. And we are going to call it the spherify function with the same arguments. So float three of our vertex uh, and then a float of the radius. Uh, is this going to work? Maybe we'll, we'll see. Uh, it's not going to take into the into account the offset if I do it like this. But that might be all right. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. <laughs> so uh, effectively what we want to do is uh, return, I think this is actually really easy, return the normalized, uh, I need the, the length first. So we're going to get the length uh, equal to the length of our vertex. I guess that's all I need. Uh, can't name it like that. That won't work. Let's do just uh, magnitude. Sure. So uh, normalize. We're going to normalize our vector. So we're going to normalize our vertex, uh, so that'll be just centered around the zero. Normalize it and then multiply it by the min of either the radius or the magnitude. So if that radius is bigger, uh, we're going to use the 
radius, so we'll get right back to where we started from. Otherwise, we are going to go to whatever the radius we set was. Uh, so we'll clamp it to the sphere, unless the sphere is outside, and then we'll just take the, the minimum one. So whatever one's on the inside. Uh, the reason we're doing it like this and not with like a, an if uh, is ifs and those kind of things are just slower in in shaders. Shaders are best if you can just kind of write everything mathematically, I guess, uh, without all the jumps. The jumps are just not what shaders are optimized for. So if there's branches in your code, it's it's not a good idea. So anyway, uh, <laughs> I think that's all all we need. So let's see what what we get. If I set this to say one, ooh, that's interesting. It sort of works. Ooh, it definitely works. That's cool. So one thing to keep in mind, the distance here is one. Or, or the, the uh, this is a two by two cube, is what I meant to say. So when I set the radius equal to one, we're just barely hitting the outside. Uh, so actually, if I can kind of you can see along the outside how it's not, how there's some uh, rough edges here. And that's part of what we're getting out of this whole thing. Uh, by doing it this way, uh, that, that radius is kind of shrinking in and then we get it and we get to pull it in and yeah. Did anybody understand that? I didn't understand that. <laughs> Effectively what we're doing is this radius is going into these grooves and at one, some of those grooves are still just barely showing up. So that's why those are there. Uh, and that's, I believe, do more to just issues. Like, theoretically, that would never happen. Uh, if you were rotating a 2 by 2 bot cube, it would never have a radius less than that. Uh, but actually, there's some imperfections just due to the fact that we're using triangles to represent this and not the physical geometry. So that's where those are coming from, I think. But anyway, this way, theoretically, we can kind of, oh, that's, that's nifty. <laughs> that wasn't really what I wanted, but okay. I don't know what I've done, but I really like it. <laughs> Why did that, I, okay. Sure. This is weird, but really cool. <laughs> so, I guess these clamps are just interesting. Okay. So let's go back to our, our cube. What I can do now, uh, theoretically, with like, say, let's say we have a radius of two. So we need to get two from there. What if we skew it up to just round off the top? And you can actually tweak that a little bit by how much, uh, how far up you actually push that. Uh, so the further up, the less precise it's going to get. We can, yeah, play around with things. I don't know. I think this is cool. Uh, maybe maybe people disagree, but anyway, that that's it. That that's sphere. If fine, the cool thing is you can kind of pop something into a sphere. Uh, lighting in this isn't right. I don't know why. Uh, we may have to do some some searching. Uh, probably when we out uh, for lighting, we're probably going to look more into lighting for our low poly shader and our grass shader. Those are the ones where we're going to look at how to do lighting. Uh, we may have to just kind of throw this in there as an extra little thing because I don't really know why this isn't correct. But it's not. Uh, so we're going to need to figure that out. But I don't know. There's so many cool things you can do with this now. <laughs> like, I don't even know what some of this is, but it's cool. Like, uh, like, what is this? They're like making letters and stuff. That's cool. 
I, I don't know what the point of it would be, but it's cool. <laughs> you can kind of tweak it. Make Maybe you need like a moon or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's a thing. And that's that's all we do here. <laughs> so I, I, I didn't have anything more than this to to do uh, I just wanted to I didn't I kind of just allocated some time and was like we're gonna see what happens if we make this into a sphere uh, so one of the cool things uh, that I'm thinking of is you can like maybe you want I don't know maybe you're making a puzzle game for example that that's sort of where I was kind of going with this if you're making a puzzle game let's undo that you may want to be able to roll around so like right now we have a perfect sphere. Uh, and so we can just kind of roll that around and it will just kind of do its thing. Uh, lighting's a bit funky again, but whatever. You get the idea. You can kind of roll around and then you can be like, oh, wait, but I want to be a cube. And then you're a cube. And then you want to be a ball again. And you break everything. Oh, ha. <laughs> Negative values. So we actually are seeing the inside now. So yeah, but anyway, you can get back to your ball and go back to your cube and switch back and forth, do whatever, and get this. Yep, okay. So that's it. Uh, we're going to be jumping into Game Jam stuff tomorrow. I checked. It actually does start tomorrow, so yay. <laughs> um, yeah, there'll, there'll probably be a lot of fun stuff going on there. It's going to take a lot of time. <laughs> And I don't entirely know what we're going to build. I have some ideas. Uh, we're going to be working, I think, with a lot of like mixer stuff. But I don't know how all of that's going to go. I have never actually gotten the thing working yet. So yeah, it may, may, not, may not turn out great for us. But we're going to, that's, that's the goal. Uh, yeah. Does anything you guys want to see, any other ideas you have, let me know. Uh, I'll be looking for a lot of feedback during the game jam. So if you guys want to jump in and say something or join the Discord channel, we have one of those now. Uh, the link is in the description. Go for it. Uh, I'm usually there uh, and can kind of chat. And there's a few other people there as well that will either chat or play video games or do whatever. So do that or don't. I don't. It's up to you. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, hit the like button or... Subscribe if you haven't and want to see more. Uh, but yeah, till next time. See you, internet.